Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Rainam Namat Kityam Naram Seva Narotan Devim Saraswatim Yasam Tato Tiamo Di Rayat Nastabesi Abad Nityam Bhagavata Sivya, Bhagavati Uttamasuki, Bhakti Bhagavati Nastiki. We are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam Kanto 9, Chapter 10, Maharaj Raghana meets Chad Bharat, Text 17. Nataksa Sulana Yamasya Danda Naknaka Samani Lavita Pastras Shanke Visham Brahma Kula Bamana Naham Vishanke Swaraja Vajan Nataksa Sulana Yamasya Danda Nakyaka Samani Lavita Pashtas Shanke Vishambra Makula Vamana Naham Vishake Shura Chavajan Nataksa Sulana Yamasya Danda Nataksa Sulana Yamasya Danda Sanke Misham Brahma Kula Vamana Naham Vishanke Suradavadram Naham Vishanke Suradavadram Suram Naham Nataksha Sulana Yamasya Dandra Jaka Samani Lavita Pastras Aham Vishanke Shura Javajam Nataksha Sula Nayama Shadanda Naknaka Samina Labita Pashtas Shanke Vishamba Makula Pamana 
अहम अहम बाय Vishanke, Vishanke, I'm afraid. Suryam, Suryam, Suryachavachat. From the thunderbolt of the King of Heaven, Indra. Of the Tarenaraya in Indra. Okay, this is Tarenaraya. Of the Tarenaraya in Indra. Okay. Now. Now. Okay. Teyakshasulat from the piercing trident of trident of Lord Shiva. Na no nito Yamasya of the superintendent of death. Yamaraj. Done that from the punishment. No, no. Acne of fire. Arka of the scorching heat of the sun. So, ma, so, ma, of the moon, Anila, Anila, of the wind, yet, yet, of the owner of riches, Kuvera, the treasure of, of the heavenly planet. Astrat from the weapons. Sanke, I'm afraid. Brisham, very much. Brahmakula, the hope of, of the Brahmins. Avamanat from offending. Translation and purport by Abhay Charanavinda Bhaktivinoda Swami Shila Prabhupada. From the piercing right, so translation. My dear sir, I'm not at all afraid of the thunderbolt of King Indra, nor am I afraid of the serpentine piercing trident of Lord Shiva. I do not care for, about the punishment of Yamaraj, the superintendent of death, nor am I afraid of fire scorching sun, moon, wind, nor the weapons of Kuvera. Yes, I'm afraid. Yet, I'm afraid of offending a Brahmin. I'm very much afraid of this. Hello. Скъпи мои господи, аз не се боя от грамотевиците на Бог и Индра, нито се боя от а, а, страховития резъвец на Бог Чива. Аз а, не ме е грижа толкова много за наказанието на Ямара, повелите на смъртта. 
Нито пък се е боил от огъня, от изпляването слънце, от луната, от вятъра, нито от вредията на погаря. Аз обаче много се боя от това да ни оскърбя брамана. Много, много ме е страх от това. Въпросът. Да си читаем Април възин стъкпин рупа, като с вами Атеда с вами да гад им праяр и поинтит аут вери клиерли да сериесност об офендинга Вайшнава и компирта Вайшнава апарана ту да хати мата мед елефант. Вен мед елефант ендрес е гарден, ит спойлс ол да фрутс и флауа симлерли. Иф вен офенс е Вайшнава, ит спойлс ол и спиртал асетс. Offending a Brahman is very dangerous, and this was known to Maharaj Raugana. Therefore, frankly, he frankly admitted his fault. There are many dangerous things, thunderbolts, fire, Yamaraj's punishment, the punishment of Lord Shiva's trident, and so forth. But none is considered as serious as offending a Brahman like Jad Bharat. Therefore, Maharaj Raugana immediately descended from his palanquin and fell flat before the lotus feet of the Brahman, Chad Bharat, just to be excused. Сериозността е от това човек да подкърви или Байшнава. Той сравнява Байшнава в Арада с Патимата, с полудял слон. Когато полуделият слон влезе в градината, той смачва всички плодове и цветя. По подобен начин, ако един човек разкърви един Байшнава, той е развален целият си духовен, цялото си духовен запас. Оскърбявайки един брамана, това е много опасно. И затова, това било известно на Махараджа Рахугана, и затова той ясно посочва своята грешка. Има много опасни неща, като грамотевици, огън, наказанието от Ямарач, наказанието от Бокшива, от тризъбици на Бокшива и така нататък. Но нито едно от тях не се счита за толкова сериозно, като това да се отскърби брама на като джад бара. За това Махарача е спогадан веднага следно от своята палатка и падна пред Въпросовите ни крака музе на брамана Джад Бара. Просто за да поиска извинение. Омакяна Тимонда Сиана Санчана, Шанакяна Сакшила Ми и там е една, аз ма и си гула пейнама. Си че там е мана обстам стап, там е една бутали с фамър, пока дам ям да дам ти с фамър, пока дам ти към. Панди хам си ю, си ю да пат към нам си ум вайш на вам са. Ширу пам царичантам са ганарагна там питам там са дивам са двейтам са дуйтам парчана са и там са кришна читания дивам. Шира да кришна падан са ганалита си всякам питам са. Те кришна круна си нудина бандача от пати гаупе са кърка канта ранда канта на мистоти. Тапта канта на ганги ради и винда бана и спри в Ишибана са дитеви пранама махари прие. Банка калпта виша, крипа си не бай виша, от нам пабана бьо, байсня бьо нам. Чая си кришна, чай тайна пабо ни тя нанда, си адвей тхада дар, си баса дхора бакта винда. Хари кришна, хари кришна, кришна кришна, хари хари, хари рам, хари рам, рам. Наму вишни патай кришна вистая бутылиши на три байти. Ведонта с вами, ти на мене и на мъсте, и сега с вами, да и вика у Бани Качави, и на мене и с вами, да и вика у Бани Качави, да и за това, и да бъл Бани Качави. В second verse of Шишик Шаста Бахтин, Шишик Шаста Кам, Дочитания explains that 
Lord Krishna has invested all his potencies in the holy name. So the holy name is absolute absolute. It's it means his holy name is Krishna. The holy name is non-different from Krishna and all the, the potencies of the holy name are present in the name. But these potencies are only uh, these potencies of the holy name are only revealed to us when we chant without offenses. But if we make offenses, then our chanting is like the night and there is no sun, even no sunshine. Uh, only when we start to give our, up our, our offenses in the chanting will the holy name start to reveal himself. It will start to reveal himself. It will be like the sun comes up, but we cannot see the sun because it's covered by clouds. If there are clouds, we don't we don't see the we don't get the full potency of the sun. But there is light. And that is what happens when we start to give up our offenses. Then the light comes. We don't get the full light yet, but the light is there. Uh, so the point we give up our offenses, the holy name start to reveal itself. You don't have the full potency of the sun, you get Nama Bas. Namabas means the sun is there, but there are clouds between. But by that light, our, our sinful, our heart becomes purified, our sinful reactions start to become purified. That, um, that is called Anartha Nivriti. Gradually, our heart becomes purified of Anartas. What are Anartas impurities in the heart? Uh, Haridas Thakur gives us five, four kinds of anartas. The first is reactions from our past sinful activities. Then reactions from our past pious activities. And then save apparat. Of 
offense committed while serving Krishna. And the fourth is offenses. If we give up the offenses, very quickly our reactions of pious and impious activities will become purified. And soon all our reactions will be gone practically from pious and impious activities. But if we make offenses, the potency of the holy name is not revealed, it remains dark. And the purification of the heart does not take place of very, very little. Therefore, the giving up of these offenses in the matter of chanting our holy name are very important. Srila Papa wrote a note with these 10 offenses to be avoided while chanting the holy name and sent it to all the temples to and with, with the request they should recite it every morning. So King Raugana was aware of these offenses and he did not want to commit them. And the, mo the most grave offenses are Stadoninda and Guru Avakya. Stadoninda and Guru Avakya. Stadoninda means blasphemy of Vaishnavas. That and go avakya means disrespecting the spiritual master instruction. Yeah. About Go Avakya, Srila Prabhupada said to his, asked his, his disciples. Srila Prabhupada asked, why, why am I translating these books in the middle of the night? So Papa said, it's for you to read. If you are not reading my books, go Avakya, you are disrespecting the goal of the spiritual master. So that's the fourth offense, the the you know, disrespecting the spiritual mass is the third one. But this is the point King Rauhanama makes is the first offense, the offenses to Vaishnavas. So, Haridas Thakur is the Acharya in the for the chanting of the holy name. That uh, and Lord Chaitanya asked them 
Please describe in detail the offenses against the holy name. And then he lists the, the ten offenses. <laughs> and he starts to discuss the first offense, Sadhuninda. Sadhuninda. Criticism of Vaishnavas. First, he, he, he gives a whole list of qualities of a Vaishnava. I mentioned a few of them. A Vaishnava is merciful and tolerant. Is purified in heart. That is gentle, is clean. That is patient. That so many other qualities. And then Haridastako said, a Vaishnava is known by all these qualities. But there are principal qualities and marginal or secondary qualities. But what's the most important quality what makes a, a devotee a devotee? Kaidasta Kul said, it is surrender to Krishna. And he used the word, in the translation, the word is used, exclusive surrender to Krishna. So, if one associates with, with devotees, then one gets taste for the name. If one gets taste for the name, one chants the holy name. I want to attain the shelter of Krishna. That, uh, and what is his main characteristic? He chants always the holy name. So the prime, prime quality is surrender. And then all these other qualities develop from from the from the chanting of the holy name. So what's the most important quality characteristic of a sadhu? It's complete surrender to question. And that's completely independent of one's material situation. In the beginning, before uh, Raghunath asked Goswami joined the Hare Krishna movement, he was the the son of a very rich landowner, Staminder. And he was uh, married with a, with a beautiful young Brahmin wife. When, when he met Lord Chaitanya, 
He left the old taste for material life and he just wanted to run away and join Lord Chaitanya and his movement. So he wanted Lord Chaitanya's advice. And at that time, Lord Chaitanya had already taken sannyas. Lord Chaitanya was at the home of Advaita Advait Acharya. And Mother Vrindapuri had just left this world and they were uh, coming together to com commemorate the disappearance of Mother Vrindapuri. And there he met uh, Lord Chaitanya. And he asked Lord Chaitanya, please give me permission to leave home and to join your movement <laughs> to be with you. And Lord, Lord Chaitanya told him, don't be a fool. You stay at home. Externally, you do your business. Internally, you are thinking of Krishna. In turn, you think of your service to Radha and Krishna. You'll be like a paramour, uh, a wife who has, a secret, who has secretly a, a lover. And to make sure that her husband is not suspicious, she does, she does her household chores very nicely. But internally, she's always thinking of her paramour, her, her lover. So, Lord Chaitanya said, you'll be like that. Externally, you do your business as usual. Internally, you are thinking of Radha and Krishna. And Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is the yeah, Lord Haridas Thakur continues. So the chief characteristic is of a Saudi surrendering to Krishna. If he surrendered to Krishna, is a Sadhu and he should be respected and served by all. And Sadhu if Samandapya. It's this is also mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, a Sadhu, even if it does some occasionally some some abominable thing is still a sadhu. That, uh, so when we develop taste for the holy name then that will Remove all our sinful reactions. But that taste 
comes from associating with a swift surrender devotees. That uh, one should not criticize a sadhu because of his previous sinful activities. That is sadhu ninda. That, uh, that when you perform this sadhu ninda, this, which is nama parat, then you fall directly under the wrath of Krishna, the wrath, the, the anger of Krishna. Uh -huh. That, uh, so only the votes of Krishna can be considered a sadhu. Yeah. But a sadhu never come, thinks himself I'm a sadhu. Yeah, when who considers himself a sadhu, it's just this is just material pride. But one who thinks himself the lowest rascal and humbly taking shelter of Krishna in his name is the real sadhu. So he thinks himself the lowest, but he's, he's a sadhu because he's surrendered to Krishna. We should not try to think artificially I'm the lowest. <laughs> That's, a, that's another exposition of policy. That, uh, the devotee said to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, I'm the lowest. Prabhupada replied, you are not the lowest of anything. Another devotee said the same to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, I'm the lowest. I'm the most fallen. Prabhupada said, yes. What are you going to do about it? So the formula is to how to become a devotee. You should be you you should think know yourself to be more humble than a grass. And consider oneself like a tree of tolerance. Not expecting honor for oneself and give honor to all other living entities. If you change in that mood, you will become attracted to Krishna. <laughs> and I ask the question, whoever criticizes a Vaishnava goes to hell birth after birth. 
Ами да, Стопър продължава, че този, който критикува войснавите, той отива в Ада разден и след разден. Because there is only one real path of liberation, and that is Пакти. Защото има само един начин, той да постигне освобождение и това е пътя на Бакти. And Bhakti is only obtained by the mercy of the Vaishnavas. And Bhakti is postiga единствено по мърсто на Вайшнавите. So the only path of liberation is Bhakti. И така единствено път на освобождението това е Bhakti. The Gyanas and the Yogis, they want to become one with Brahman. Gyanite and Yogis, they want to become one with Brahman. But yeah. That's not a liberation. <coughs> it becomes situated in Brahman, it's not a liberation. But it's halfway liberation. <laughs> it's the first phase of liberation. The first phase of liberation is uh, realizing I'm not his body, I'm a soul. But then one must go to the next phase. I'm not his body, I'm a soul, but who am I? In fact, 15.7 of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains who we are. We are a part and parcel of Krishna. We are a servant of Krishna. You know that, but what do you do? You serve Krishna and you develop love for Krishna. And you, see, and you start to see Krishna everywhere, even in this material world, in everyone's heart. And then you develop love for Krishna and Ananda Bhakti. And only with Ananda Bhakti can you enter the spiritual world. That, like I said a few days ago, when I started chanting Hare Krishna, and I was chanting 16 rounds for a few weeks. I had a dream of Prabhupada. Hmm? I had a dream of Prabhupada. Prabhupada was sitting on Vyasasam. There were many devotees around him. And Prabhupada had in his hand a stack of different small booklets. <laughs> So he, he took one booklet, he looked at me and gave it to me and he said, this is your passport for the spiritual world. And he gave me the passport <laughs> and then he raised his finger. Now you have to work on your visa. Still trying to do that. We have to become qualified. And give up these offenses. And that's the big work, work we have to do. And the most important, the most severe offense is criticizing of Vaishnava. So one who kills a Vaishnava, uh, Haridastra says, goes to hell birth after birth. 
Because there is no possibility to get liberation of unless we give, we, we have association with pure Vaishnava. Because within the heart of a pure Vaishnava it is, is Krishna's energy of bhakti. Bhakti includes Dardini Samvit. Samvit means spiritual knowledge, realized spiritual knowledge. And Dardini means the bliss for which for which we are always for which all living entities are anxious. Anxious to obtain it, they want to obtain that bliss. Kila Vishmanatik Bhakti Thakur in his Madhmaduya Kanambini, he analyzed the cause of Bhakti. And he said, Bhakti cannot come from pious activities. Because pious activities is material, Bhakti is spiritual. But something spiritual can come, cannot come from something material. <laughs> So his conclusion is Bhakti comes from Bhakti. You can get Bhakti from one way as Bhakti. And does the pure Vaishnava yes, as Bhakti. And Krishna has given uh, has delegated the power to give bhakti to others to his pure devotee. Krishna So when by contacting a Vaishnava, one can get bhakti. So, that uh, someone asked Prabhupada, what Akhyata Sukriti or unknown, unknown service to Vaishnava have uh, we done in previous lives that we are now becoming devotees? Yeah, let's look at the initial Prabhupada. Prabhupada is the initial Above I'm your Akiata Sukati. Yes, Prabhupada could give. Uh, that uh, so therefore I asked the course said for for that reason one should co try to get three things from a from a pure Vaishnava to get three things from a pure Vaishnava. Mm -hmm. uh, he the remnants of his prashat, the water that had washed his food, and the third thing is the dust that has touched their food. 
Ахето е връхта, която докосва на неговите земи. So, that, uh... Back to bring up Govinda Maharaj told, tells that story when the devotees from <coughs> Russia the first time came, came to Mayapur. <coughs> they, they have never been out of Russia. That, uh, So they were very nicely at, uh, 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 received at the Calcutta airport with Jayapataka Maharaj, with a big gift on the devotees. So everyone got a garland, sandalwood, pulp, and on the bus. Uh, uh, but then the devotees saw when they arrived in Mayapur this, 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 uh, they are so humble. These devotees are so humble. <laughs> the devotees who came from Russia at that time. Но когато отишли в Майапур, предам да не се боязани, че And they made a, a, a plan to a, they made they, they made uh, plans a strategy to get their food remnants, the food water and the dust of their food feet to touch their feet. <laughs> So they cooked a big feast for them. And then invited them to uh, a, a space, a big, a big house to serve them prasad. But they put a lot of sand around around the house. <laughs> to get into the house there to, to walk on the sand. And when they came in one by one they washed their feet. <laughs> And then they served them prasad. But three times more that they could eat. <laughs> anyway, that was their plan. <laughs> that um Not. So by living close to such devotees, devotion will appear in one's heart. Automatically one will begin chanting the holy name. And then one will receive all good qualities. That is especially the power of an Uttam Adhikar. So we have to be careful not to criticize a Vaishnava. Not to criticize him who is cast by birth. But in Bulgaria, we don't have that problem. <laughs> It said Kali, Kali Sutra Sambhava. Everyone in Kali Yuga is born Sutra Sambhava. We should not be criticized uh, uh, a Vaishnava for his previous sins or his previous faults. 
Да, да, какво ми ние обещава за предишните му греховни дейности или греховни мисли? Ох, for an unpremeditated accidental act of sin. Или за... Unpremeditated. Незряло дейност. Незряло греховна дейност. Да, да. И също не защото той не е глупо. And one should not criticize him for present traces of previous simple activity. Present traces. Yeah, yeah. Present traces. Result. Like, I give you an example here. Също не трябва да отрекува с настоящите му резултати в предишните греховни дейности. So one has got addictions in his life and then he gives it up. Кажа, че някой има пристрастено за своя живот и става тази пристрастено. But because of the previous addiction, sometimes he falls back shortly and yeah, what to do. Но заради предишната си пристрастено, за някакво кратко време той отново пак се връща към... What happens if you blaspheme a Vaishnava? You will be criticized by Yamaraj. You will be punished by Yamaraj. Yeah. Yeah, these are teachings of Haridas, uh, Thakur, and Vaishnava Aparat. How to avoid it at all costs. That's a recommendation. Much more to say on that topic, but there is a comments or questions. Тази тема, но ако би има въпроси или коментари. Yes. Also avoid the... Thank you for the third. Also avoid criticizing, because I think the criticizing is the source of the transistor. Как да избягваме критиката, защото тя е основата на нашите откривления. Критиката към вечнаги. Well... The thing is that we are all in the prison of the material world. We are in prison in this body, we are conditioned. It's like one prisoner criticizing another prisoner. Като един затворник да критикува другия затворник. So the first thing which is required is always think the fault lies in myself. Едно от нещата, което трябва да мислям е, че винаги да се реализирам какви грешки аз правя. Others bring me reactions that uh but that Krishna's arrangement they are only the instrument second point is second point is don't trust your own mind Втори много важен момент е никога не се доверяе на ума си. What you perceive is not the reality. Това, което възприемаме, не е винаги, това не е реалността. That's the perception of our mind. Това е възприятие на нашия ум. We have, the mind has the tendency to see a person of fault, And because we project a certain wrong attitude in that devotee. You can repeat on that. Yeah. 
the the mind has the tendency to see faults in 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 someone else, and and the mind projects a wrong attitude in the devotee that we wow. we, we yes. think it's it is it, doing this or that because yes this mentality and that's not good. Understand? <clears throat> А, ние имаме ума, ума всъщност има такава функция да види а, някаква грешка в другите и след това той прожектира в нашия ум а, такова отношение а, в него, че ние си мислим, о, той е такъв и такъв и такъв и затова прави така и така и така. So we have to be very careful If we are uh, a temple president or we have an authority, position of authority over others, then we, we might need to correct others. Ако човек е в позиция на право президент, тогава може би той и всъщност може да се наложи да критикува другите, да ги коригира. But before correcting someone else, one must have three conditions. These three conditions, if one follows them, will help to avoid Vaishnava Aparam. The first is that am I in a position to correct that person? <clears throat> am I senior? Am I more advanced than this person? Am I in a position of authority? If the answer is yes, you can go to the second condi condition. If the answer is no, don't correct that person. No, if, if the answer is no on the first point, uh -huh, yes. don't correct that person because we, you may com commit apparat. Ако отговор на първите три въпроса е не, тогава ти не трябва да ходиш да коригираш тази вишност. The second point is, do I feel envious toward this person? Второто, което е, ти, а, да, не си, да не завиждаш на тази вишност. If the answer is yes, don't do it, don't correct that person. Ако завиждаш на тази личност, ако отговор е да, не ни го коригирайте, не ни го коригирайте. Ако не си зависли, тогава можеш да преминеш към третата, към третата отворя. What's my motivation to correct this person? И това ми е мотивацията за да коригирам тази личност. The motivation should be, I do that to help him in his spiritual life. There is even a fourth point. Does this person want to be corrected by me? Is in all considerations in Vaishnava etiquette. But better than, than correcting. Than correcting. Is avoiding this Vaishnava apparat by seeing the good qualities in the devotee. Lord Shiva is the spiritual master of two kinds of devotees. 
is uh, instructing great saints in, in in the science of bhakti. But he's also the spiritual master of the, the, the all these creatures in the modes of ignorance, these spirits, these oblobins, and so on. And they have all bad qualities. But when Lord Shiva sees, sees, sees the slightest trace of a good quality in them, he glorifies his like anything. And that inspires them. And uh, that's, there was a conflict between two devotees, and they went to Baxidanta uh, Sarasvati Maharaj to resolve that conflict. And uh, Bhaktisiddhan says, Father, my head set them, I put them one face to face to another. And he said to one, to one devotee, now you tell the other devotee, three good qualities you see in him. And said to the, the, uh, then to the other devotee, now you tell him three good qualities you see in the other devotee. Yeah, these are some practical points. I don't know if that helps or not. Something else? Maharaj, I want to ask regarding the sometimes <laughs> we see um, some of the devotees um, can criticize others. <clears throat> and uh, some of the devotees are also uh, engaged by hearing. They're not so active. Uh, but um, because of the weakness or maybe don't proper understanding, they're hearing or even sometimes it's senior to them, like saying, criticizing the other devotees. And um, what we, we know that this has to be avoided for sure. But um, do they uh, be excused because they are not so active uh, or they will receive some reactions and this is one of the questions and other is sometimes we commit offenses which are not so big but not criticizing but like um let's well, say like um like from which now etiquette there are many things some small offenses. Mm -hmm. Is this important also for our spiritual life? So the first point you make, if they, they are criticizing that uh, it's it's like because we come from the material material life, the material life criticizing is called is considered a healthy ha ha habit. Проса <coughs> Махарач отговори, в материалния свят ние имаме от него да критикуваме това е нашия навик. Yes, and 
It, it's not easy <laughs> to keep it up. And neo neo the neophyte devotees will continue to criticize. What's the result? Their advancement in the voice and service is blocked. And if they are criticizing is too severe, they will be they will lose taste in their devotions. No taste. И ако критикуват твърди грубо, те няма да имат вкус към напълния живот. One of the most dangerous media today is Facebook. В днешно време една от най-опасната медия в целия свят е Facebook. In five seconds they can murder the character of another devotee. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Although it, it's also a form of uh, Sadhu Sangha, but this is a very dangerous aspect. Yeah. Тази медия на Facebook е също поле на Sadhu Sangha и общоването на данните си. Въпреки това, <laughs> should be very careful. Be always on Facebook and so positive about your communications. Inspiring, that's them. Yeah. The, and, and the second point you made? The second point was uh, regarding like small mistakes. Uh, yeah. Some... Yeah, the, the small mistakes in the personal service are called save apparat. Haridas uh, Taku said that these are not so serious. By, by the normal performance of devotional service, by chanting, by serving, they, these are eradicated, these reactions. Okay, thank you very much. Chantra Shima Bhagavatam ki Chantra Pau Pat ki